Hi students, how are you all there today? I hope you are having a fantastic day. Now, I hope that you have watched my previous video students. This is the second part of that particular video, right? So, I am going to go more deeper into the chapter of song. Before that, who am I? Some of you all already know me. I am your chemistry teacher for the day, Mr. VJ. I have been teaching chemistry for the past 20 years. So, I am here to see whether if I am able to help you to make chemistry easier, more fun. Okay, students? Alright, and I must caution you, students. I must caution you here. This recording is done naturally. That means I am not watching any video screen or I am not prepared. In other words, I did not prepare any script before this, prior to this. It's done naturally. Okay? Number two, I would urge you students, I would urge you to listen until to the end because at the end, I have some goodies for you. Okay? Ready? Let's start students. So, in the previous recording, I have explained to you and made you understand what is salt, the definition of salt. Now we are going to go to the classification of salt, the second part, right? Let me bring you to the ball, okay? So students, now salt is broken into two categories. Number one is soluble salts and the other one is insoluble salts. Now you got to understand which salts are soluble. When I mention soluble, which one? It is able to dissolve in water. Okay? Now, and you also need to know which salt is insoluble. Okay? That's very important because only if you understand which salt is soluble and which salt is insoluble, then you are able to choose the method of preparing, sorry, preparing the salt. Okay? Preparation, salt preparation. Okay? So, coming back over here, students. If you take a look at your revision or reference book, you will see that they have already outlined all those salt which are water soluble and all those salt which are insoluble. Basically, you are asked to memorize. And as I always tell my students, memorizing is not good for health. That's not the way to study chemistry. That's why you find chemistry very tough. You find it difficult. But let me give you easy way for you to remember which salt is soluble and which salt is insoluble. After I have given you this, I'm sure you will agree with me, chemistry is an easy subject to learn or to master or to study. Okay, so then let's go to the board. So what I will do is that for you to understand soluble and insoluble salt, I just ask you to remember three, three key points or I call it as acronyms. What is the first acronym? Cindy Crawford Sukha Nasi. What is that? Cindy Crawford Sukha Nasi. And the other one is Pa Ana Baba. And the third one is Talarup Larup Talarup Larup. What the heck am I talking about? Okay? Let's go to the board students. Okay? So Cindy Crawford Sukha Nasi. Can you see? Cindy. Right? Cindy Crawford. Okay? Sukha Nasi. Can you see that? Wow, wonderful, right? So, Cindy here is the chloride, Crawford is the carbonate, Sukha is the sulfate, Nasi is the nitrate. Now, of course, you don't like this acronym, Cindy Crawford Sukha Nasi, you can form other acronyms to your liking. Okay? So, you can change Cindy to become Clara, alright? Or uh, you can change this to become something else, okay? So, it's all up to you. Okay? So, now, let's go to the other one. So, quickly, I will draw it in a table form. Okay? Let me draw it in a table form for you. Alright. So, now what she did it was, she called her father, she called her father, Pa. Right? Pa. So, let's put that word here again. P-A-H. Can you see that? What is P here? Let. P B two positive. What is A here? AG positive. What is H here? HG2 positive. Can you see that? Now, once Cindy has already called her father Pa, the father replied back to Cindy by saying, Here, Anna. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here, Anna. So the Anna here, A, alright, N, A, K. So Anna here would be what? Ammonium. A here is what? Anna, ammonium. So ammonium is what? 
NH for positive and Na positive sodium and K potassium. Can you see that? Now, after Cindy has replied the father by saying, I'm sorry, the father has replied to Cindy by saying, Anna, Cindy replied back to the father by saying, Baba. So, Baba, let me dear Baba, B A B A K. Can you see the resonance? So, B A K is what? Barrier. P A is lab, PB2 positive. A K. A K in Malay, we spell it calcium. K A L S I U M. Can you see that? In English, we represent it as what? C A. Yes, that's right. So, what I will do is that I will erase this off and substitute with C A. Can you see the resonance? Alright. And we have over here empty space, right? I just put all. Some more. Can you see that? So at this side here, quickly what I do is that I put ta la rot, la rot, ta la rot, la rot. Can you see the resonance? So again, I repeat the three acronyms that I gave in you just now. Cindy Crawford Sukha Nasi, Pa Anna Bapa, Ta la rot, la rot, ta la rot, la rot. So how do I understand this table now? You see simply students, for chloride ion, lead, silver, mercury, chloride, talaro, insoluble. All others are soluble. Can you see that? Huh? Meaning that zinc chloride is soluble. Magnesium chloride is soluble. Only these three is insoluble. Talaro. Now go to carbonate. For carbonate, ammonium, sodium, potassium. Carbonate, lar, soluble. The rest of the carbonate, insoluble. Example, magnesium carbonate is insoluble. Lead carbonate is insoluble. Can you see that, sir? Let's go to the third one, sulfate. Barium, lead, calcium, sulfate, insoluble. The rest of the sulfate, soluble. Example, ferrum sulfate in, is soluble. I repeat, sorry, ferrum sulfate, soluble, magnesium sulfate, soluble, can you see that also, right? Alright, for nitrate, all nitrates, large, soluble, can you see that, right? So, I have just made your life so much simpler, can you see that, right? You just have to remember, pa, I'm sorry, I forgot, Cindy Crawford Super Nasi, pa, ana, papa, talaro, aru, talaro, aru. By you just remembering these three acronyms, you are able to remember which salt is soluble and which salt is insoluble. So you don't have to memorize. You don't have to remember all those stuff. So many, you know, if you take a look at your reference book. So this is the way that I simplify chemistry for my students. And my students really love it because I've done a huge good for them. I've prevented then from memorizing. Can you say that that's it? So at all if this question comes up for your exam, you can just recall and you can just quickly form this table and you can see which salt is soluble and which salt is insoluble. This is the right way to study students and not memorizing. Alright? So students, if you have found my explanation here good, I would ask the least that you can do for me is that you can like this video and you can also inform your friends about this video so that they also can come and view, they also can learn, they also can obtain the knowledge. Remember students, sharing is sharing, right? You can also contact me at this number, this is my personal number I'm giving you here, 012-680-5900. I repeat, 012-680-5900. You can contact me if you have any queries, I'm more than happy to help you. You can also contact me to attend for my special classes. I have special tutorial classes for those students who are weak. You can attend and I will give you a lot of examples. I will give you a lot of cool, remembering techniques, simple, easy and fun. Okay? And on top of that, you can also go to my website www.rakan.edu.my Okay, students? So, until then, see you. BJ signing off. Thank you. Bye-bye.